Life was a lot different in our area in 1954. West Palm Beach was smaller. The Philadelphia Athletics played their spring training games here. Beauty contests along the beach were big. The hair was, well, let's just say the hair was different. Shoes were selling for $2 a pair, and northerners were told Boynton Beach was a great place to live. For entertainment, the Palm Beach Speedway was the place to go on weekends. Then a new dynamic was added. Channel 5 hit the airwaves. August 22, 1954. Local television is about to become a permanent part of our lives through Channel 5. For weeks, TV dealers openly announce a massive sales campaign to coincide with the opening of the new station. The station signed on as WJNO. Two years later, it became WPTV. The staff was small and the facilities tiny in the Slat House on Coconut Row in Palm Beach. Bertha Donald, who now works in sales, was a film editor then. When it rained, there was a lot of water in the, in the studio, so that much I remember. It was uh, antique at its best, I mean, you know. Buck Kennard was the face of Channel 5 Sports for more than 20 years. All right, folks, the regular high school football season ends tonight. He started at the Slat House when a parrot, that's right, a parrot lived there. And was quiet in the daytime until we would start uh, the, the broadcast at uh, 6 o'clock and they turned the lights on and he'd start talking and you couldn't shut him up and nobody could go up and get him. Despite the bird and the small quarters, they were able to produce children's programs, news and weather. We, well, they had a lot of hardworking people. We, you know, we had, a, you know, we had to improvise a lot. It, it was very good. We had a very good uh, working relationship there back in those days. Larry Smart was starting a 37-year career with WPTV then. In the early days, Channel 5 was like a family. You had uh, the family oriented uh, work program where if you needed help in another area, you just go grab someone, they was happy to come over, give you a hand, run camera, whatever you needed. Uh, you, know, it just, you just did what you needed to do. By combining all their talents, they were able to come up with a variety of programs, such as Sipping Coffee, which had its share of celebrities. I'll buy home tomorrow, because we have to start working on the Vietnam show. In fact, that's my car. That's your good Tuesday. The equipment was crude compared to today's standards, but they'd load it up and take it on the road. Good afternoon and welcome once again to King of the Lanes, the fastest 15 minutes in television. This Saturday, Let's Dance will be videotaped at 3 o'clock from Bev Smith Ford North. Engineer Ed Roos remembers those days. We had a lot of fun. We just had a lot of fun. We enjoyed every minute. Um, when the time came to move to Flagler Drive, Ed was there for the groundbreaking. A lousy piece of foam. One, two, three, four. This is your uh, friendly announcer. The move from Palm Beach to West Palm Beach was such a significant moment in the station's history. Jack Howard, the Howard of Scripps Howard, which owns WPTV, flew down for the celebration. I don't recall that I've ever crossed the water and been so welcome when I got to the other side. I'm glad it's working out that way. It's an auspicious beginning. And the move-in in 1971 was a made-for-TV event with company and community leaders there for the new station's debut. That was big time. That was a big move. A lot of work beforehand. Um, a lot of new equipment. The facilities were lavish for the time. Big offices, new furniture, a newsroom with room to spare, new equipment. And for decades, Ed was responsible for all that equipment. He worked at the station for 37 years, 25 as chief engineer. The engineer then was involved in everything at the station. That repaired everything from the equipment to fax machines, <laughs> Xerox, Xerox machines. Uh, everything in the building was, was under the engineering department as far as repairs were concerned and maintaining them. Now, from the number one rated television station in Florida, this is Today on Fox. Good morning, I'm John Favoli, and thank you for making us part of your early Wednesday morning. The strong news reputation we have today began in the station's earliest days. With some film, still pictures, and a handful of people, 
They told the news of the day. That's when Bill Gordon arrived. At WPTV, Nils is more than just a program. It is a concept of Nils programming that places emphasis on the local news of the entire coverage area, including Hollywood, Fort Lauderdale, Boca Raton, West Palm Beach, Fort Pierce, Vero Beach. I'm Bill Gordon, Nils director of the WPTV Dateline Nils service. The WPTV Dateline Nils reporters, Nils cameramen, and Nils editors are constantly on the go whenever and wherever Nils is being made in this area. He became a legend in the 17 years he worked at WPTV, doing everything from interviewing killers to overseeing the daily news shows. Bill Gordon was the classiest, best newsman I ever know. And Channel 5's dominance in the news today is because of Bill Gordon. He set the tone. He, he was a critic of, of being correct. We didn't have any corrections because he made sure it was correct before it went on the air. Well, hi, I'm Tony Glenn, your Atlantic weatherman, with the latest weather information brought to you by Atlantic and your friendly nearby Atlantic dealer in cooperation with the United States Weather Bureau. This powerful instant tool is what you need when severe weather is headed our way. Weather Only forecasts have always been a big part of Channel 5. Channel 5 has a tradition of staying on the air during hurricanes. Broadcasting from the transmitter when Hurricane David hit in 1979. By mid-afternoon today, the worst of Hurricane David was over. To fighting to stay on the air when Hurricane Francis struck. We are in the southern eye wall of this storm. To showing you the danger of Hurricane Jean. It's going to take about six weeks to finally determine just how far sugarcane smut has infested Palm Beach County's commercial sugarcane crop. Jim Sackett has played a role in much of Channel 5's history. Being a stunt person, be your man or woman, in the movies or for television isn't for everyone. You have to be pretty physically fit. <laughs> Gee, I've always wanted to do that. He came to WPTV in 1978. Averaging 60 to 65 miles an hour. And as a reporter and anchor, he covered stories from the beach to the Bahamas. The trips have been fun that I've been able to be on. I've been to Israel, uh, Finland, Russia, the Bahamas. When we arrived here early this afternoon, the cleanup process was just beginning. However, firemen were still at the scene, as well as the police, blocking the area around the fire. The trip to Russia was enlightening in a lot of ways. He was the anchor on the big stories. One million people who have been told that they cannot stay where they are. They have to, uh, to leave. Jim Sackett and Thursday's Child. Only on Action 5 News. Jim's signature Thursday's child pieces combined news with public service. I mean, I would do anything. I would absolutely try to do anything to uh, credibility or not to try to get these, these, uh, these little kids to, to open up. And of course, there is the hair. It's earmarked for renovations. <laughs> I don't know. Jim was nice. Jim, you know, he had hair. You know, when Jim started. <laughs> you, you had a lot of hair back that. then. That was a couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that hair took on many forms over the years. It's been a fun ride so far. It certainly has. Not only did you have more hair, it was brown at one point, I see. <laughs> Well, that was 16 years ago. <laughs> well, yeah, speaking of colors, we actually saw blue skies today. <laughs> I'll get you, but uh, will the weekend be sunny or stormy? Until Jim... Come on out and see us at the fair. ...eventually took off the toupee. So, what you see is what you get. And boy, does this feel great. I know, it's all yours. Jim, you look great, too. We want to tell the folks out there that this is a really gutsy move, and we're really proud of Jim, too, because it's been 16 years that you've been here that you've right. always worn the hairpiece. And I'm Tom Brokaw at NBC News Election Headquarters. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Sackett. As we move through the 1980s, Deborah Caldwell Martin became one of the prominent anchors and reporters. I'm Jim Sackett. And I'm Deborah Caldwell Martin. Join us for all of the results from South Florida's local elections. She went on to become the station's and the Scripps Howard Corporation's first female news director. Well, it was a wonderful opportunity again and a great experience. But then again, it wasn't much fun being a news reporter either. I think what was good about it was that I came up through the ranks.
I was hired as a reporter, then became an anchor and producer, then an assistant news director, and then finally was given the chance to be the news director. Over the years, the news department covered everything from the Pope. Pope John Paul II poured out showers of blessings as the rain fell on the hundreds of thousands of people gathered to hear his holy message. To the Prince. With number four, Prince Charles leading his team to a 6-4 victory and taking home the trophy for the third match in a row. From heroes. Need need. You know, there are a lot of needs in our world. For helping to bring mobility to so many, Wendy Nordine is this week's Kelly's Hero. To hurricane. Right now. Telling people to stay away from this area. Well, we lost the power and everything, and that was it. The eyes made landfall. Sewell's Point. We're here on the north end of South Hutchinson Island, where the wind is obviously very, very strong. We're getting hammered out here. We're southeast of Channel 5 right now from the bell tower, and all those rains are moving this way. This is the height of the storm for many people. That is a uh, transformer blowing which may have further contributed to the fact that uh, we are without power here. We are in the southern eye wall of this storm. Kim Malloy that you were just talking to, he's in the northern eye. So as this storm goes through, my winds are going off the coastline. You just don't know where the worst areas are until you get there. They said this was the storm of the century. Not because of the weather that we're seeing, but just because it feels like it's lasting a century. From political debates, Welcome to Face to Face, a confrontation between two men with opposing political views, but with the same goal in mind, to be elected to the United States Congress. To political street fights. They lie in the way to Spaniards. They call me over here the Spaniards man. Photographer Tony Aruhu documented many of the events. I remember Tony and I going out without an assignment and being told we need to fill five, ten minutes worth of news, come back with a story. And Tony and I enjoyed that most of all, pounding the pavement and digging up whatever news there was out there. And by golly, with Tony, we wouldn't miss it. Tony's worked at WPTV for 30 years. I, I still enjoy it. I am going to be 69. I am not ready yet to be retired. <laughs> because I enjoy this job so much. The, because it's something that you bring to the people every time, you know? It's something showing the people what is going on over there. And that's a, it's like a public service. Now he appears on the area's only local Spanish language show. El Festival Latino se realizará el próximo 5 y 6 de junio en las instalaciones del Zoológico de Palm Beach. Tony Araujo, Canal 5, para Hablando con la Comunidad. Tony Araujo and I actually started pretty close together. And I always referred to Tony as the can-do guy. Uh, his English wasn't the best at all time, but his attitude was superbly the best. Bill Brooks was WPTV's general manager for 17 years. I think it, when it comes to being proud about something, I suppose lasting as long as I did, and the, the amount of wonderful times we had here, the good times far outnumbered those that weren't so good. Whether you live in Pompano Beach or Vero Beach, Action 5 News is looking out for you. With Bill, WPTV had the first live truck and the first helicopter in the area. We're going down to West Palm Beach, Florida. Willard Scott set up shop. Good morning, Willard. Hey, good morning, Bryant. Well, I finally come out of the closet, bull and cow together at last. And this is the 77th. So oh. Hey, hey, and hey, he's hey, the hey, only right. general manager ever to chase down a thug live on TV. I said only my laundry man will know for sure how scared I was. <laughs> While we moved into our new building in 2001, wait till you see our brand new home. Bill was the one who fought for 13 years with the city of West Palm Beach to get it built. Well, I can tell you this: uh, the legal fees were in seven figures, so uh, and it was long-standing. Countless depositions, countless uh, city council meetings. Bill's philosophy was as straightforward as his gregariousness. But I think what I tried to convey in my long and happy run was that there's more to television that make, than making money and that you can be a force for good with your public service uh, exposure. Most of us shop weekly for the food we need, and you know, we never give it a second thought. But some families in our community are not so fortunate. For them, hunger is a daily reality. But now there's something we can do to help. On Wednesday, October the 16th, TV5 will begin our Food for Families food drive. And when it came to public service, Bill didn't hesitate to roll up his sleeves. 
I, I would say that uh, Food for Families, uh, in addition to the Race for the Cure, were the two projects that I uh, really felt uh, embraced the entire station and did good things for people. The power has just been turned on for Channel 5 by Frank N. Folsom, President of the Radio Corporation of America. Channel 5 in the Palm Beaches now takes the air with 100,000 watts video power. Stand by Newsman 5 for live shot. All right, cue him. Since its first day, Channel 5 has always been number one with viewers. It's a combination of good decisions and good people. It was very good. I enjoyed all those years. 37 of them. I really enjoyed very much. 